Uh, I'm from Wellington, Kansas, which is a uh, kind of a small farm town near Wichita, and that's where I grew up until I eventually went to uh, art school at University of Kansas. Well, I went to, to art school to become an art teacher. I got my uh, bachelor's in art education from KU, um, and then I went back uh, to get my master's in art history. Um, so I've been an art teacher for uh, about 15 years now. I, I primarily work in watercolor. I prefer to work in watercolor just because um, the ease of it, um, I'm, I'm most familiar with it, and I think I can get just the broadest range of, uh, of color. Independence is great for, for my artwork because a lot of my work tells a story, and I think a lot of people relate to that idea of looking at it and relating to work and, and, and either finding the story in it that's being told or finding their own story. That's, that's in there because I, I used other mediums. I used acrylic, I used oil, I used all the other manner of, of, uh, of media, but I always kept coming back to it because it was what I was familiar with. You know, there's the traditional watercolors of, of watering it down, but I would take it and squeeze it just right out of the tube um, and use it like it was oil. I have had uh, artwork um, you know, down in the crossroads, at group shows, uh, a show in Detroit, I've had artwork at a show in uh, Portland. Um, so, and it's always, it, it hasn't necessarily been like my main focus um, as a career, but it's always been something that I, I have wanted to pursue. And recently, within the past few years, have been more, uh, I think, aggressive as to getting my, my stuff out there. My goal was to, to ultimately become an art teacher. And then the uh, working, creating artwork has sort of been along the side the whole time. Um, and just recently, it's been something that's, that's taken off a little bit more. Obviously, I'll continue to, to teach art. That's what I love doing is, is you know, teaching kids. So uh, that's, that's where I see myself. My, my hope is that a lot of kids, uh, a lot more kids would, would pursue art after, after they graduate or after they, after they, they leave my classroom. Um, but I know that's not always going to be the case, but it, it's great and, and always nice to see that uh, I have a few students who, who pursue a career in arts. <laughs>